going on guys? My name is Rama back again from Moment Views here with another episode of reaction to Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba episode 23 Hashira meeting. Now before I actually jump into this episode I'd like to address a couple comments that were made in my last uh, week's video and yeah I was joking when I said that one Hashira which I found out that Hashira is, is, is a pillar. Um, I was joking when I said that that Hashira, the love Hashira, I forget her name, was a thought. It was a joke. It was totally a joke, but some people legitimately thought I called her a thought. And I'm like, really? <laughs> can like I not be like satir like uh, sarcastic or like can I like not joke? And well, and if, and if you say no, well, fuck you. Too bad. I'm gonna be joking all the time. I joke about everything. Most of all, I joke about myself because I'm a fat ass motherfucker. But. But no, in all in all seriousness, though, like I know that she's probably not a thought. It's just the way she acts, um, just her mentality, and I don't really mean she's a thought. But some people took it that way. If you can take a dick, you can take a joke. Uh, I'm kidding, but yeah, and all I I ain't kidding. But yeah, also another thing that a lot of people were bringing up, not to and not really in my um comment section but more of like comment sections on other reacted videos and reactors a lot of people were very like adamant on trashing a lot of reactors who were basically judging some of the Hashiras and because they're all saying like oh you just don't understand him you don't understand his life or her life or why they're like this mentality and I'm like that's because we don't know any of them like I, I'm pretty sure that not a single person reacting to this show who are anime only people are expecting us to not get some type of motivation as to why they're doing what they're doing. Because um, we're going to get, we knew that we would probably get at least some type of clarification or some type of confirmation as to why they are the way they are, whether it be their backstory or them monologuing. But, no, and, like, a lot of people are like, oh, you're just, don't trash them, uh, you're just being rude. I'm like, no, 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 we're, we're anime-only people, we don't know. The only thing we know is seeing through Tanjiro's eyes and his, and his trials and tri tribulations. So, yes, so we know exactly how it is, and we, yes, we do know that they don't know what Tanjiro has seen, has been, go has gone through. But, yeah, and... I don't know. I just kind of it, it just kind of frustrates me when people are defending them and then trashing reactors for having an opinion about people that they first met. Yes, you are perfectly allowed to have an opinion. First impressions mean a lot of things, and if you come off as an asshole, especially with our mentality, we're gonna call you out. Well, some people will call you out. I'm going to be the one who, I, I'm definitely the one who will call you. I'll be like, you're a dick. <laughs> but yeah. All right, enough mumbo and jumbo. We're, I'm ready to jump into this. So, Hashira meeting. I'll give my, I'll give my thoughts during the opening of, of why it is the title. But yeah, it looks like we're starting off exactly where we left off last episode. So guys, without further ado, let's jump in to Demon Slayer episode 23, starting in 3, 2, 1. Let's jam. And of course, you're gonna start off, and you got, and you're gonna have to show us her getting stabbed. And again, yep. I don't know if that that, that translation that kills her. I swear to God, if you're gonna put the opening right where it like. You know, I expected them to, like, at least give us a little more. And, like, hey, remember that last time we got you, gave you a cliffhanger? Well, fuck, a cliffhanger? Well, fuck you. We're going to do it again. <laughs> we're not going to give you anything. But, yeah, all right. So, Hashira meeting. I remember reading. Uh, I remember not reading. Sorry. I was talking to one of my coworkers, a, a, a different coworker, not the one that I normally talk to about other things, uh, no, normal anime stuff. But he is a huge fan of the series, but he's a manga reader. And so I, I kind of talked to him and went, went to him about some general questions. So something that really wasn't be like, something that wasn't really spoilerific. I mean, I could have easily, and he would have been like, yeah, I'll tell you. Because um, he's kind of that kind of guy. But I was like, 
have we met all the Hashiras? Or are we expecting to have any more? And he's like, no, you've met all the Hashiras. So he could be lying, but I highly doubt it. Um, so this is a Hashira meeting. We're, okay, so how I'm predicting this episode is going to go. We're going to get the conclusion. Nezuko's not going to, you know, attack this douchebag. Uh, um, and my opinion, or what I'm thinking is going to happen... Is it going to wrap it up? Is it going to be like, oh, well, this kind of proves, but you need to prove yourself and uh, prove that she's still not going to attack people. So, let's see. Yeah, you just see her drooling at the sight of blood. Oh, that's right. He also got the his uh, the wind knocked out of him. Yeah. Slum boy. <laughs> I kind of knew. I, I, yeah, I agree. She's just like. <laughs> So is that a giant scar on his on his forehead? Also, he's bleeding a lot from a forearm cut. I mean, mm, depending on how deep. Also, you, you saw that um, Nezuko was uh, digging her nails into her. Oh shit! He got out. Oh, I I see what you're doing there, Gyu. That's right. If Tanjiro, if Nezuko can hear Tanjiro's voice, it's gonna snap, like snap her into her senses. Oh. First episode flashbacks when Tanjiro still had longer. Well, when he when he tied his hair in a ponytail. It's mom and dad. The mom and dad. So I thought at first um, the mark on Tanjiro's head was like a burn, but his father has it, so it almost leads me to believe that maybe it's a birthmark. Maybe. Uh, Urokodaki, or is that Urokodaki? Urokidaki. I know it took me a while to remember it, but he he was kind of like. Chanting that while she was sleeping, so. You know, actually, now that I think about it, it's probably not her birthmark because that mark, that thing has changed on his forehead. From a, like, I was re-watching the show, I remember I was saying this. But, look at the mark on his head when he was, when it was, like, early in the series, now look at it. Bitch, I don't want your blood. See, look at that's a different mark. One, it looks more red. At first, it looked like a burn or a birthmark, but now it looks—it's changed. Yeah, I, it's hard, like why are these names so long? Urukodaki, Shinza, Bakarabeka, whatever his name is. Uh, it's hard. It's hard to like. It's hard to like to like remember the names correctly. Great with faces. Don't get me wrong. Tell me their names. But yeah. But also, yeah. Giyu holding on to his hand. I think he, Giyu knew that if he let him go, Tanjiro would run out and basically snap as a go to her senses. Senses. I was right. <laughs> I knew it was gonna be like. Well, now you need to prove him wrong.
He really didn't actually win because Giyu actually did get the last one, so I guess that does make sense. Might want to step it down a bit. Baby steps, Tanjiro! Baby steps! <laughs> Agreed! <laughs> I'll laugh for you! Okay, no, Shinobu's gonna laugh for you. Even he's laughing for you! How many people are gonna be laughing? <laughs> Flamboyant boy is laughing. Oh, they've also... So, I'm guessing, so they just replace him? Jeez, that seems like it's gonna be like an endless fight then, if that's the case. As you wish. Oh. <laughs> Freaking Nezuko. By the way, let me just say. You lucky son of a bitch, Tanjiro. That's right, it's her league. Okay, so I'm guessing to get like treatment. But yeah, hold on. But as I was saying, toy figure companies, or Japanese toy figure companies, it's probably made already. Give me a second. Another headbutt? <laughs> so, two more. No, that's not Giyu. Different color. Is that Shinobu? No, that's not Shinobu. Who is it? Is it the Miss Guy? That is the Miss Guy. <laughs> <laughs> Come with the por favor. <laughs> I do. I I feel like I'm gonna like her character later on, though. Does she work for Chanel? No. Wait. What? That's the healing girl in, like, what, episode 7? 8? <laughs> but, no, no, as I was saying, hold on, hold on. Figure companies. I'm pretty sure that's in development or it's already been made. But get a thing of Nesuko. In chibi form, with those beady eyes, you will make a fortune. I, you sell it for 300 bucks? Sold. Here, I have money right across my room right now. I will pick up that envelope, which I got very legally, and I will pay for that. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll take three of them. One for each stab. <laughs> He's pretty... Yeah, he, it's kind of had like, you know, past, past couple days have been a little bit, you know, brutal. Just think about it though, like this has been since what? It's been a day since what? Episode 19? 18? Because 21 was the, oh my god, dear lord Jesus, this is great. Was it episode 21 or was it 20? 21. Yeah. Oh, it's that one girl, the girl with the face, her. Um... She's the final participant, and I'm guessing like the disciple of Shinobu. That's her name. Is that her name? I I, I don't really recall her ever her name ever being spoken. Oh. 
Okay, so it's like they have their own title as well. <laughs> she's a girl and she's awesome. I mean, so is fucking Shinobu. <laughs> Giving you that that silent treatment. Why you gotta cover your faces? Why are you, are you like? I'm pretty sure you waifu materially. You, you you seem cute. You seem too young. It's weird that like it's weird how like. She just constantly just has like butterflies around her. I know that voice. Hi, Zenetsu. But do you want to die? So I'm guessing the, the, like these the little girls are like nurses almost in a way, or caretakers. Yeah, because he hasn't seen them technically. But that almost begs the question: Where's the Nosuke? It's probably is it like in another room? Because I don't see him. Fucking, fucking Zenetsu. You know, okay, you can use some poison or some uh, something and just you know stab him in the back of the neck and knock him out. I'm perfectly fine with that. <laughs> Did they give him clothes that like don't fit? <laughs> <laughs> I agree, just like, uh, can you stop touching me, please? Someone. Yeah, he was a uh, he was a little bit like beaten up. Something's a little wrong with your voice there. Sounds like it got crushed during the fight because he was able to talk to Gyu afterwards. Yeah. So he just lost his voice. So he okay. So now he just sounds like he smoked a pa like eighteen packs a day for like the last twenty years. <laughs> you know, wipe your nose. He's drunk. I like how they're constantly like changing like the um, tone of the uh, scene. Well, sorry, Zenetsu, you're gonna die now. You're gonna turn into a spider from the or die from that venom. Take your meds, boys and girls. Get your children vaccinated. <laughs> So I wonder, like, why, like, the poison makes him smaller. Is it, like, a side effect? Or was it the poison or maybe this medicine? I don't know. Also, yeah, this is going to show that... I feel like this is going to make Inosuke be like, I need to train my ass off. And that's kind of how I feel like how this series, this season is going to end. Because if you think about it, we only have three more episodes. 20, 24, 25, and 26. We're only getting 26 episodes, I believe. So they're not going to introduce a new enemy to fight, and if they, or if they do, it's not. It's going to literally end in the middle, which I don't see them that being a smart move. 
So I'm guessing this is probably going to end with them maybe tying up some loose ends, and then in the span of these three episodes, um, and basically maybe end on like a training episode, and then show them like start getting stronger right before the next season. Prediction. Yeah, that's another thing. I think I pointed that out last um, episode where I was like, I had to give major props to Giyu for actually risking his life because that, at least basically saying that he'll he'll kill himself if something ha were to happen. He's putting so much trust and insurance into Nezuko and Tanjiro. Almost had like a calming, yep. Wonder why. Well, he's blind. <laughs> oh, she's small and she's sleep. S O M O L. Small. I mean, usually when you're bouncing around in a box like that, yeah. And also getting stabbed three times. It's a couple steps in between, but... Mmm, that's what he's getting at. Oh, okay. That also makes sense. Are we going to see her? No. Okay, so this is the meeting. <laughs> Bolster the ranks. Mm. Basically, going the it is they're gonna be training them. Uh, that's what I'm feeling. They're gonna like be like, okay, so the ones we do have left, we're gonna just super train them. <laughs> that's actually very true. Yeah, but it's also for the... kind of need to. Just smart. Also, like, like, just like a little side thing, and like, they all have their swords down. I still can't get over his eyes.
What if uh, maybe he was the one? Maybe he was the one who gave him like this this illness. Okay. I'm still trying to figure out what those flowers. Those have to be something. They they have to be a representation of something. Don't spoil it for me. But I'm almost assuming that this is it, it has a tie in for like some type of demon demon is shit. All right, so I'm going to go uh mute the thing. Hmm. So it wasn't the meaning I was thinking of, but yeah, this makes sense. Yeah, but this totally is driving to a training section. Like I can see the next three of these episodes kind of be like totally meant for training. And you know what? Pff, I'm totally for it. Absolutely. For them to get stronger. And yeah, if you think about it, yeah, Time Drill has not been with the Survey Corps. Is, is it the Survey Corps? Yeah, this Demon Survey Corps. Whatever. They have not been with the Corps. The demon, he's not been with the Demon Slayer Corps that long, and he's already been fighting these ridiculously hard and hard battles. Granted, like I said, Giyu just kind of just like walked through the lower fifth. So, it's, it's tough for him. But not for hit for Gi for like Giyu level. But yeah, so we'll see what happens. I I do feel like this is this is going to lead into a training arc. Uh, what's gonna happen next? So yeah. All right. So ending is about to be done in three, two, one, boom. All right. So let's see this next episode preview. Man, there's only three more episodes. Once in a, one in a million. Hmm. Okay then. All right, guys. I'm going to wrap this up and hurry up and upload it. Um, I know this episode came out a little bit later than normal. But, yeah. I'm going to go hurry up and wrap it up and upload it. But let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below of this episode. Like I said, I, I personally feel like it's going to lead up to an arc of training or at least at least an episode. Whether it be next episode or in between these next few episodes before the end of the series season. Um, we're going to have at least one or one episode just fully dedicated to training just so they can at least, like they said, bolster their ranks. So they need to raise up their ranks, but I, it, they're really basically saying that the people, that the new people that are coming are just kind of like fodder. And if you really, if you think about it, not a single one outside of Zenetsu, Tanjiro, and Inosuke have kind of been useful. Even like the ones like, oh, hey, this girl, maybe, the like during the the, the girl who was in the spider um forest, I was like, maybe, oh, maybe this girl is going to be something. Nope. Killed her off like that. So I feel like they're gonna be like, mm, yeah, these guys kind of suck. Let's like, we need to like hard train them and like have people who are around them like train these guys who can train these guys who will train these guys and kind of maybe like do like a waterfall effect. I don't know, but we'll see what happens. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. I will be back soon, probably maybe today to record more episodes for my Flashback Friday series of Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Sam. So look forward to that. Yeah, hopefully I can get a few episodes up for this week before I get drowned in work. So yeah, anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.